The history of NASA's Dryden Flight Research Facility is filled with many accomplishments that led to it becoming the premier high-speed flight research center in the nation. From the X-1 to the X-31, Dryden has been at the forefront of research innovations. As we enter the 21st century, Dryden is again ready to lead the way. This is the ITF the integrated test facility. The ITF is a tailor-made center for the efficient and thorough testing of advanced, highly integrated planes of the future. The design of the ITF with its six test bays, simulation labs, and support systems is well suited to meet the challenges in the research of tomorrow's complex, highly advanced aircraft. The thrust vectoring F-18 high alpha research vehicle X-31 aircraft and the X-30 NASP, the National Aerospace Plane, are just some of the projects the ITF will support. How does a premier flight test facility like this come to be? A team effort involving NASA, Burns McDonnell Engineering, plus construction contractors and subcontractors. Their leadership, dedication and hard work have brought about the ITF. Here is a trip through time as we look at the making of the integrated test facility from concept to completion, building a facility for the present and the future. Building a structure this size requires a great deal of work, even at the ground level. Land is surveyed, earth is moved, forms are built, and concrete is mixed and poured into the forms making up the foundation for the building. Like our bones and skin give our bodies structure, so too the ITF has a structure made up of steel and concrete to help support it. Here we see the early progression of the test bays on either end and office and support areas rising in the middle.
With the outer structure having risen, work is being done to form the network of pipes that provide essentials such as water and air conditioning. Work is also being done to prepare the ground where test bay floors will be placed. Outside, forms are built and then poured to make up the test bay ramp areas. Air conditioning and power are now supplied to the building and outside exterior walls are being finished. Blacktop is being laid and inside electrical fixtures continue to be installed. Test bay floor forms are constructed and concrete laid. hallways, office areas, technical shops, and control rooms begin to assume their final form. With the building nearing completion, a series of tests are conducted on the fire suppression system in each of the test bays. This system is vital to protecting the advanced aircraft the facility will support. The final touches are completed and the ITF becomes an operational facility. People and planes move into the offices and test bays. The promise that began with a few shovels of dirt has been fulfilled. A premier facility for the testing of the advanced, highly integrated planes of the future.
The integrated test facility, built with teamwork, engineering, and dedication, will provide a national resource for NASA and the aerospace community, a facility for the present and the future. Thank you.